Hi everyone, Coach Steve here. Welcome to your plan. So, first off, thank you very much for buying your plan and I hope that we will help you achieve your goal you have set this season. Some quick admin before we go into the structure of the plan and what you need to do to get the best out of it. First off, you should have received a kickoff email with the goodies such as the 30 day free coupon for uh, training piece, etc. If you haven't, it means you didn't select the checkbox to allow me to send you emails. So simply just email me at info at smartendurancesolutions.com. That's info at smartendurancesolutions.com and we'll fix that straight away. Um, in the invite, you'll also see an invite to our closed Facebook community, The Smarties. Please join. We're a very um, active group and we like to support one another and share a lot of useful information that will help you on your triathlon journey. Um, I also have a YouTube channel, which you'll see the link in the email. Again, very useful if you like and subscribe to that channel because I am constantly adding up content, which you'll get notifications of, of which again, useful hints and tips for your plan. Now we'll talk a little bit about how your plan is structured and what you need to do to get the best out of it. Hi there, so what equipment do you need for this plan? Will be, for the swim, there'll be goggles, togs, pull boy paddles and fins. For the bike, a road bike of some description, a helmet, um, cycle, a kit and safety equipment. There are indoor bike sessions specified in the plan. So these need to be done either on a turbo trainer or wind trainer or a smart trainer. If you use a smart trainer, you will have need to have selected a, a power based plan. Or if stuck, you can use a spin bike in your local gym. Run wise, you will need a good pair of uh, run runners and some uh, decent comfortable run kit. Again, you'll need to dress for the occasion in terms of if it's cold weather, you'll need to have longer winter kit. Um, in terms of the plan itself, um, there is a key element that either if it's a power or a heart rate based plan, you will need some sort of Garmin or GPS enabled device, a Polar, Sunto or an Apple Watch even to match what the things you have done in the plan versus the targets that have been set for you. We'll talk about um, how that works in when we talk about the different discipline specific requirements. Um, for those who are curious, for those of the uh, cadence monitor for the bicycle, as in how many revolutions you do as you turn the pedals, is useful, but not a must have. Okay, on to the next section. So how is the plan designed? Well, essentially it's built on a classic periodization model where we have a base phase, a build phase, and a taper phase. So what does that mean? Um, in terms of the base phase, think about this as building your endurance or your stamina. So the, if you were to use a car analogy, if we were building a car, we'd build the chassis and the engine. Um, as part of this phase, you will have swim, bike and run tests where we will baseline your HR or your power or pace data, depending on what plan you're on, to uh, make sure that we're have you in the right zones. Um, so again, we're just building your aerobic fitness and strength. After that, we will move into the build period, where this is essentially where we develop your ability to race, where there's more race specific pacing, there's more race specific uh, um, sessions, such as bricks, open water swimming, and also B races, such as um, a shorter distance than your target A race to get you actually race experience. In terms of our car analogy, um, think about it as building, adding gears to our engine and our chassis. The final phase of the plan is the taper, which is where we reduce the training load and the training intensity um, to actually allow your body to be ready and like a coil spring come race day. Okay, so now we will talk about how you will know what to do in your swim sessions in your plan. Um, as you'll see in the plan, swim is started by this little uh, water icon here. Um, please note one of the key sessions you will do in the first week or so of your plan is what we call a critical swim speed test. This is where we map out your swim paces and you're able to update that in Garmin and Training Peaks 
to reflect what how you should what pace you should swim the swim sets at and um, see below in the links for how you will complete the critical swim speed test and how you will update that information in training peaks to reflect your pace for the plan otherwise one how you actually look at an actual swim session you can click into this link here and it will bring up information and um, some things to note if you are not uh, if you don't have a compatible garment or not comfortable using the structured swim workouts you can simply um, write down the swim sets here and bring it to the pool um, I tend to keep the swim sessions simple so people can not have to write down a huge amount of information um, some key information here the drills here and um, the drills there are video demonstrations of them in the links below in the comments if you have a compatible Garmin or fitness wearable, um, sessions like this are actually uploadable to your watch and therefore it will tell you exactly what speed to do based on your threshold pace and what's in the set. Again, there's a link to the video that demonstrates that in the comments below. So essentially, we try to keep it as simple as possible and we keep the, um, and the information should either be at your hands in terms of the, the description or readily available on your Garmin. I will now talk through how you will know what to do in your bike sessions in the plan. And um, in the plan, the bike sessions are in case of a little cycle icon here and the information is outlined in text and also uploadable to uh, your Garmin, your Smart Trainer, Zwift, Ruby, etc. depending on what type of plan you're on. But one of the things you will need to do in the first couple of weeks is an FTP test. An FTP test stands for Functional Threshold Power Test. And it's a test that we do to map out and baseline your heart rate or your power zones, again, depending what plan you're on. And then this will be updated in Training Peaks, and then the sessions will automatically update to reflect your current level of fitness. We do this test at the beginning of the base period and also the beginning of the build period. So we update and reflect your change in fitness. There is a link in the comments below and to a video that shows you how to do this step by step in Training Peaks. And just in case you can't find that or forget, there's also a video above the functional threshold power in the plan. So what does a bike session look like when you click into it in Training Peaks? And um, as you can see, here's the session details where outlined what you're going to do in terms of zones um, or alternatives in turn, if you don't have a, uh, an indoor bike setup. Um, this also indicates that the bike session will also upload to your Garmin, to your Smart Trainer, to Zwift, to Tra Ruby, etc. Please note to be compatible with the, the likes of Zwift and Ruby. The, plan, the sessions need to be a power-based plan. The heart rate stuff does not work as well with uh, these apps. Um, in terms of how uh, the test, now again, the video will outline exactly step-by-step step what you need to do and, and demonstrate it, uh, but just a, for a quick cheat sheet, if for the bike zones, for the heart rate, you'll need to select lactate threshold and Joe Friel for cycling. For power zones, there'll be threshold power and Andy Coogan. Another key piece of information is if you need to convert an outdoor bike into an indoor bike due to poor weather. And um, I also have a video of that in the comments below that shows you a quick rule of thumb that will allow you to complete the correct indoor bike to replace your outdoor bike if you, the weather is just too bad to go outside. Okay, this section will outline how you will know exactly what to do in the run sessions in your plan. So the run sessions are the icons indicated by the shoe in the top left hand corner of the session. As per the swim and the bike information, you will need to complete a baseline test um, to figure out what your run heart rate zones are. Please note these are different to your bike heart rate zone, so you will need to set them up separately and at different times. 
the actual how you what you need to do in the run test is outlined in the run test icon here um, and what you need to do with the information that that test produce is outlined in a step-by-step -step video which you can find either in the comments below or for ease of reference the video is also noted above the run test once you have updated the zones uh, in training peaks this will automatically update for all future sessions and therefore you will be running the session by your map to your specific fitness level at that point in time so what does a run session look like when you click into it there's always going to be a description about what the run session is trying to achieve and also how the session is structured please note this plan is always going to based on distance by intensity so in that for this session is a 1k warm-up a 6k either 10k pace or zone 3 heart rate which is also going to be reflected in what's uploaded to your Garmin and then we'll actually tell you what to actually do during that session. It's worth to note that the time or pace in the session information is only a placeholder because it's um, that will update as you go along through training peaks but even when that does the session is designed to be run by distance by intensity not by a specific pace unless in the build sessions where the sessions respect outline that you should run at 5k pace for this distance or 10k pace for this distance again the video um, in the links below takes you step by step to how to set up your heart rate zones but if you are looking this just as a, a brief reminder this will be lactate threshold and joe free of running as you go through the information please note that until you complete your run test and update your run specific heart rate zones again please note different to the bike heart rate zones there may be a scenario where the what you're seeing in the session in terms of what's uploaded to your garmin or fitness wearable in terms of tar fitness wearable in terms of target heart rate is out of sync of what is put in the description that will automatically correct once you have completed and the heart the run test and updated your run heart rate zones accordingly. So thanks for watching the video. And again, thank you for buying our plan. So hopefully we've addressed any of the questions that will um, prevent you from getting up and running and understanding how the plan works. But we understand that triathletes were knowledge hungry individuals. So if you do have queries and questions, we've got some options to help you out. There's the FAQ question in the links below with video answers for regularly asked questions. Please check that out. If that doesn't answer your question, feel free to post up in for, uh, the question in the Facebook closed community. We have uh, assistant coaches and coaches um, monitor that regularly. And there's also experienced triathletes who might actually be doing the same race as you and might be able to get a very specific question. Um, and if all else fails, please feel free to um, email info at smartendurancesolutions.com and we'll hopefully resolve your career that way. So again, best of luck in your journey. Thank you for trusting us with your uh, triathlon adventure and we hope that you get the PB you deserve.